Today we're changing the front bulbs on the Sirocco R-Line facelift. When I do these uh, headlight bulb removal videos, I like to remove the headlight assembly completely, if possible, and on this car it's quite easy to do. So I will show you the bulb changes completely off the car, which gives you a much better view. So the lights are as follows. We've got the main beam and the side light. We've got the dip beam indicator, daytime running light, fog light. We'll start with the dip beam since that's the most likely to go. So remove this rubber cover and twist anti-clockwise and you'll have a H7 bulb which clamps into this connector. Take care when changing bulbs to wear gloves or do not touch the glass at all costs as the bulbs will go very quickly if you get any of your skin oils into the uh, on the glass. Now the main or high beam and the side light. So this is the inner cover on the car and for this we've got I'll do the side light because that's easier so we've got the little connector here and it's just a W5W wedge bulb nice and easy then for the main beam we've got another H7 bulb that just presses into position and removes from this connector here. Be sure to locate this in the correct position when refitting the bulb. So on this one, it's at the bottom. So quite a, quite a solid press to fit the bulb back in the clips and there we have it now for the three remaining bulbs you'll need to be in the wheel arch so you've got this plastic cover here fog light at the bottom, the daytime running light and the indicator at the top. So for the indicator we've got twist anti-clockwise to remove and we've got a H21W bulb. Now the daytime running light, anti-clockwise again, and we have just a normal P21W bulb. So for the fog light we've got a H8 bulb and you need to remove the connector before you can twist and remove the bulb as there's a piece of plastic here stopping you. So remove the connector and now you'll be able to twist the bulb anti-clockwise to remove. Now these H8 bulbs come as this full assembly with the connector attached. 
so you'll get your new bowl and refit. And don't forget your connector. Thanks for watching, for more guides on this car and many others then please do subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one.